all right folks so what is going on today we're going to be doing a special type of video today and it's a little bit of story time so get sit back um uh just kick up your feet and relax and you know um listen to this story so today we're going to be talking about basically my best achievement in Yu-Gi-Oh to date and that is going undefeated day one at a YCS and get this folks not showing up to day two we're going to get all into that uh and stuff like that uh and yeah man also we were playing fortune ladies so that should be another thing but before we like before we get started i would like to say if you guys do enjoy the video go ahead and leave a like go ahead and leave a comment and go ahead and subscribe if you have not already and if you guys do uh if you guys want to help the channel out uh please if you guys could uh either donate to the channel or click and link um any support would be uh a very appreciated so yeah man appreciate you if you guys do and appreciate it if you don't so without further ado let's go ahead and get started so folks way about six years ago back in uh, uh 2012 where the game of you get was very very different i took this deck to a ycs and surprisingly went undefeated so i know what you're wondering what the hell made you think of the deck well i did not create the deck or i didn't come up with a concept um that concept belongs or that honor goes to uh you a youtuber by the name of Fino Black or Fiano Black. I believe it's Fino Black because that's what he calls himself. So, yeah, we're going to go with that. But, yeah, he came up with the deck and it was originally tied Zero Requiem. So, when we first, well, we, me and my homies, when we first, you know, seen the deck, we was like, oh, this is the bustedest deck we ever seen. Like, you know, you're able to just, you can use Diamond Dude to get Fortune Futures, uh, Miracle Fusions, uh, Pot of the Wallies, Destiny Draws, Allure. Like, you're just able to do so much. That's pretty much the whole thing about the deck was to combine Diamond Dude's effect along with Fortune Ladies because um, they have a car called Fortune Future, which is right here, which you can, you know, return and banish Fortune Lady from your, uh, basically, you return one of your banished Fortune Ladies who draw two cards. So, um, in the original video, he said that this basically, but Diamond Dude pretty much bypasses the cost. Now, if you guys ever see the original printing of this card, um, it does have a semicolon, but as you guys know, in the new uh, PS PSCT, I believe, or PCST, one of the two, um, the basically when you whenever you see a semicolon, anything before that is pretty much the cost, such as on here. Um, discard one card target one card your opponent controls and you see that semi clothing and that's the cost with diamond dude's effect if you guys do not know you do not have to pay cost so with stuff like destiny draw you eat a bit pretty much you just draw two cards a lord darkness you still banish because it's not a cost stuff like fortune futures what he said on the video it's it's pretty much it basically be able to activate it with no cost so you just draw two uh same thing with excavation I don't believe he played this, but with excavation, you wouldn't have to pay any cost. And then with Pot of the Wally, since you technically never activated the effect, you're still able to either activate another one or, excuse me, still able to special summon. So that was pretty much the consensus of the deck. And at that time, in Zectors, um, in Zectors, oh, fuck, what was the other deck? There's another, damn it, I can't. I, I know Zectors with oh wind ups. It was, it was during that format where they were pretty much the top decks, and Zero was an absolute monster because whenever this card leaves the field, you were able to just blow your opponent's board up. So all in all, it a cohesive junk of a boo boo. If you look at it or you play the deck on your own, folks, you would see how bad this deck is. But for some reason on that day, whenever I dueled, it was straight magical. Um, so let's just hop in straight into pretty much what happened in the aftermath and stuff like that. So. Friday, that literally same Friday, we went out there. It was me and four of the people, uh, pretty much four of my homies. We all went out there. Now, mind you, we didn't have a hotel. We didn't have nothing booked. We didn't talk to nobody going out there, nothing. We just went because we knew everybody else was going. So we really had nowhere to stay. So if somebody was like, hey, man, you know, you can't stay here, we were pretty much fucked. We're going to have to sleep in a car, figure it out. It was going to be a very terrible time. But luckily, my homie, um, he, he had a, uh, what's the name? He had a hotel or a group of his friend that, like, they all 10 had, a, like, it was basically 10 people in one hotel. Um, <laughs> so you guys can already, you already, you guys probably already know that was super illegal, but it was like 10 people in one hotel. So he, he ended up letting us crash. So it was about 15 people in one hotel. So yeah, Friday, Friday we get there. Um, we, we, what's the thing? We asked our homie, like, hey man, where you at? Can we park up there so we can head up to the venue? He was like, sure. So we parked at the hotel, walked up there, went to the venue, big, 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 big venue. 
and uh man it, it was crazy it was a lot of people the pre-registered line was out of this world um i don't think we pre-regged i'm not i'm not too sure i'm pretty sure we did not pre-reg but man it was crazy i think my one of our other homies he got it he was a vendor uh, he still is a vendor um but he got his stuff stolen and this is probably one of the best moments i've ever seen as a community literally every pretty much it was two people like they walked up and was talking and then they grabbed a binder and just ran they just grabbed first binder they seen bam took off one of the dudes got tripped up in the beginning he got caught the other dude booked it took it out he was out of there and so when we're walking back we hear about it and so we run we you know we're trying to see if we can catch him or you know do something like that so by the time we get out there the people outside basically they heard what happened and they tripped him up hemmed him up i'm not going to say what else happened after that because some stuff happened but <laughs> yeah pretty much just say he definitely left with less shit than he came up there with he lost a lot doing that dumb shit like i don't understand why you think he was gonna steal two binders um in the middle of like four thousand five thousand people I, I just don't think how you thought he was gonna do that but i can understand why i guess because back then a lot of people were just basically out for themselves so if you see somebody still in mo more people were just hey man you should have been watching your shit but the community came together and they did stop him so that was one of the uh what that, that i guess it, it was a bad thing that turned out to be a good thing so that was already like the the the, the event was already just off to just a rock i mean a very big very big special start so uh we just you know hanging out talking to your friends and stuff like that so then the western pre-registration is about to close so we said all right let's go find something to eat um so back then and even still to this day uh we're more or less of today but back then folks i i i, I didn't agree with spending like twenty dollars or i didn't really understand the concept of a restaurant because like most meals are like twenty you know twenty five dollars so back then i'm sitting there like oh so we're going to uh, restaurant after restaurant i'm like no nah, i'm not paying for that i'm not paying twenty dollars for a slice of pizza and a drink and it's like bro like no we were just looking for something and then we stumbled upon one of the greatest restaurants um uh it's called islands all right islands my god now this is a very important part of the story islands is 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 the is is, is the crucial key point of this story so we stumbled upon islands we go in there we look at the menu and i think the uh the the, the meals are like 10 bucks so we got a burger and drink for about 10 bucks so i guess that wasn't you know too bad for me so we sit down they bring us a shitload of fries i believe it's uh infinite fries so you can get as much fries as you want up there and as big as with like the size of the whole plate that's how big the burger was we was like damn so we were just sitting there man i'm talking about everybody enjoyed it that shit was the best thing and oh my god that was the best burger i ever had in my life at that point i was like damn i definitely we definitely got to come back here um before we leave before we leave we definitely have to come back here so after that we head back to the hotel and so once again like i told you earlier our homeboys was you know great gracious enough to let us stay in there so uh we was just chilling in there and then uh he was like oh man we know there's another hotel with our uh, with our other friends so we decided to go over there and uh i don't know if you i don't know if whoever was in that hotel is watching this video right now but my god those are some of the worst plays i've ever seen in my life like literally in the first five minutes i was seeing so many misplays so much cheating i was like <laughs> why what is going on bro we're, we're like we're less than 24 hours away from the yts <laughs> they're pretty much the the, the 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 basically the biggest event um a person can go to besides like nationals of world so it's like bro you don't even know what you're doing with your deck i'm like oh this is gonna be you know this this is gonna be uh, incredibly bad so we stayed there for a couple you know for like 20 minutes and then we was like no nah, we gotta go so we end up leaving uh head back to our homies hotel and i believe we get up around i don't know if we got up like six i believe we got it we got up early i know that for sure so we head to the venue and this line folks this line was outside of the damn venue now if you guys have never seen the long beach convention center it's very very big and for the line to be like it was literally to the stairs and outside the door that's how long the line was I kid you not, folks. It was the 100 YCS, and it, it, it this is what damn this is probably what's going to happen at the 200. So I mean, <laughs> by the time you I mean you guys see this video, I mean by the time the 200 happen, you guys are probably going to hear something like this. But line was out the door, and it was like God damn, bro. When ain't nobody about to stand in this line. So we found another one of our homies, man. Linked up, chat, bam, cut in line. So we finally, you know, we, we get up there. So then wait i think we kind of i think we might have no we didn't pre-register no no we definitely didn't pre-register i was about to say i think we know so anyways we get to the front 
I don't have my ID, and I didn't know this was not a problem because I've been to regions and stuff. Nobody's ever said anything. So uh, <laughs> I go up there, and they was like, "Oh, do you have your ID?" I said, "Oh no, I don't have it." They was like, "Okay, well you can't get the mat." I'm like, "What?" <laughs> so I'm like, "What? Wait, why can't I get the mat?" And then. Like they was explaining to us, I don't, I don't know what the hell the reason it was, but pretty much I couldn't get the mat. Now, if you guys don't know, I don't know, most of you guys most probably won't know because and most people I talk to, they really just got in the game like a couple of years ago. But that mat at the time was like resale immediately after you get it was 30 to 40 bucks. 30 to 40 bucks, you can easily resell it, pretty much get your money back. So you basically went there for free and you got five packs and you, you earn about 10 10, 10 or 10 10 or 20 dollars you know or yeah 10 or 20 dollars you know depending on who, who buys it from you so i'm sitting there like oh my god i can't get the mat and then they tell me i can't get the prizes either until i can show my id so then i'm calling my mom I'm like please 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 <laughs> so this is six years ago folks so we don't have all this well i didn't have all this updated technology so she didn't know what the hell she was doing and so all of a sudden, just ask her to send me a pic of my ID, and she can't even do it. So I'm sitting there, I'm like, come on, like, please, can I just, I'm like, please, man, can I just, just get a mat or something? I was like, no, we can't give it to you. So then I'm like, oh, that's just, that's just cold. So I end up not getting a mat. So everybody around me selling their mat uh, for like 30 or 40. So I'm like, okay, well, you know, I, I, sh I should have brought my, uh, well, I didn't have an ID, but I had like a little temporary ID, so I should have brought that. But I didn't, so I'm like, all right, I'm a little bummed out. But I'm like, you know, it's cool, it's whatever, it's it, man. So then, a couple hours, like a couple hours later, we're still doing registration. So this is probably around 10 or 11. Then the price jumps up. People are buying them for like 50 to 60. So now I'm like a little irritated, but now I'm getting gradually more upset because it's like, damn, like get just let me get the mat. Like who cares? But yeah, so <laughs> now it's about one or two. And now I'm getting really irritated. I'm getting tired too because. Mind you, we got up around seven. I, I don't, I don't, I know it wasn't six. So it was about like seven or eight, and we've been at the venue for about five, five to seven hours, and there's no Yu-Gi-Oh being played, and it's like, okay, what's going on here? So then we see the 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 event people. They they basically open up another part of the convention center. Like they blocked off one half of it, and then now they opened it up because it's that many people. So we like, damn. This many people finally three something comes around. We're finally getting ready to duel and stuff like that. Now I don't know if you guys. Uh, I'm gonna stop saying that. But back then, uh, what they used to do was they'll get everybody seated and then they'll they'll basically get everybody seated and then what they'll do is they'll, then they'll announce the actual pairing. So they'll just pair you up with the next basically the next person in your name. So if your last name start with a C, you're paired up with somebody else. So like if your your last name is like Cats and then somebody next to you would be like Cat Sands, like shit shit like that. So you just be paired up like by name and stuff like that and then they'll pair you up. So. That's when they announced it, it was 4,000 and some people there. So it was like, damn, you know, and then, you know, we got a Guinness World Record, quote unquote, because every time that even gets brought up around somebody who plays Magic, they, they're they quick to let us know that, hey, Magic had something with like 8,000 or 32. It was some crazy ass number that they got. But I don't know why Guinness doesn't count that one. But yeah, we never mind. We were splitting hairs here. I got me a Guinness World Record. And we're there so finally three something we finally get to play and the first deck i go up against is dark worlds and dark worlds actually end up winning the event so that's a little crazy but i did go up against dark world so he he misplayed he he definitely misplayed he definitely should have beat me but i ended up getting the first victory so i'm like yeah man I'm, I'm i'm ready to go so pretty much fast forward right and then you guys just imagine this is before the time rolls and all that so <laughs> literally we're probably dueling at round three something and the round doesn't finish till five so that should tell you how like round one went and so that should tell you how the rest of the day went so the more the more i'm playing you know the more i'm winning everybody's like man hey man man congratulations congratulations and just like that and so we're just winning 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 and then my brother goes up to uh one of the writers of Kan on the konami son he was like hey can you give my uh, my brother a future match he was like oh what is he playing he's like oh he's playing fortune ladies he said oh yeah yeah this if he keeps winning i will definitely feature him so you know, round five, round six, I'm playing against Insectors and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, and Dino Rabbit was the top deck as well. So, Insectors wind up some Dino Rabbit. So, I'm like, damn, I'm beating people. Dude, they can't get over zero. It's, it's, it's crazy. So, I'm like, yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. So, round seven, it's two something in the morning. Round seven, it's two something in the morning. So, <laughs> anyways, 
end up going against Dino Rabbit, and the, the dude's name is Merlin Schumacher. And if you guys do know him, he ended up coming back the next year and winning the YCS, uh, winning YCS Long Beach. So yeah, man, that, I, I beat a I'm just man. Um, but yeah, no, he did actually end up coming back the next year and winning the YCS. Uh, what's the name? The, 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 basically another YCS Long Beach. He came back and won. So I'm going up against him, and I actually got a future match. And oh my God. I mean, I gave this man the business. He didn't know what the hell to do, and that's what. That's why I love decks like this. This is why I usually stick away, uh, stay away from top, top, top tier deck, it's because the surprise factor is just at a very big advantage going against your opponent. You know your opponent has a better deck, but you have that surprise factor. So nothing in their side deck works, and they don't know how to combat your strategy. And definitely, come on, you, nobody's ever heard of Fortune Ladies, and especially not Fortune Heroes. So I'm, oh my, I gave him the business, like Dark Arm, like oh my, it, it was crazy so then game two he sides in like shadow imprisoning mirrors and i'm like okay <laughs> that's literally what mally and diamond do i mean i guess but the whole point of the deck was to, you know use fortune futures and stuff like that and miracle fusion so he ends up uh flipping up uh western shadow imprisoning mirror and then like he has a gore sitting in his hand so he can't play gores because with gores you need to control no monsters so i'm just poking 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 and then finally i'm able to win and then <laughs> My homie, at, at the time, you I think I think there's a picture of it on the Konami website. I'll probably link it down below. But there's a picture of a German dark arm, and the guy where I was playing was German, but my friend didn't know that. So the whole time I'm winning, like the dude's getting like he's mad as shit, like he's super mad because you're losing the fortune, ladies. <laughs> round seven just think about it like you you flew all the way from another country to come out here and play and you're playing fortune ladies and then i summoned magical android against him and he was mad because i didn't have a catastrophe a catastrophe like all right it, it was just funny as shit though i, I summoned the android he was he was pissed off at some of the android but and then my friend is over there saying german like because the western thing like every time we would play he played german like because of the dark arm so he was just screaming german german and then the dude like he turned around like what the hell is your problem that shit was it wasn't funny but it was funny because he didn't know and so like I, after the door i'm like dude like why are you doing that i was like he's german <laughs> he was like oh shit i didn't know so man and but then like after i went everybody was like yeah 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 so mind you we leave the a venue around three something so we walk back to the hotel uh <laughs> we walked back to the hotel now as another as another homie of ours um he, he was watching he, he, was, he was basically another homie who's always you know you played around us and came around us and, and like we was doling and shit like that so what he was saying was let's go to denny's so <laughs> uh pretty much nobody else was trying to go but he just kept kept doing it kept doing it, like hey man let's go to denny's and then we was like all right man we, we'll see so we're, we're going home and so he ended up going to denny's but we, we didn't see him again after that that was literally the last time we we see them no he, he's okay but like that was literally the last time we see him i don't we don't know what happened after that but we literally go home at three something in the morning so i'm thinking uh no no oh so yeah so we're leaving the venue uh, let's, let's get before we leave so we're leaving the venue and they're telling us we got to be there i believe it was 8 30 sharp it was either 8 30 or 7 30 one of the two I, I think it was 7 30 because i remember waking up at six we have to be there at 7 or 8 30 sharp and if you're not in you're automatically like you're automatically out of the tournament so i'm thinking to myself i'm getting home at three something i'm not probably going to fall asleep till about four something i said y'all expect me to wake up in two hours and go play so i'm thinking i'm like i don't know if i'm gonna go man and everybody's like nah man you gotta go to this so i'm like all right man i got back i was like man man i'm undefeated did this that and the third usually if this is a regular ycs i'm already guaranteed the day too um but like i said so i got home went to sleep woke up literally woke up at six something and i was like you know what man i'm not gonna go man i, I said i can't do it. i need more sleep like i can't do it. i was just playing i was literally around Yu Gi Oh for 12 something hours since like eight o'clock that morning until three o'clock at night i'm i'm playing Yu Gi Oh. like i don't I, I need some type of rest i need to do something so i said you know what fuck it man ask my boy biggie i said man you trying to go to islands so yeah man uh seven oh undefeated and i decided fuck it i'm not gonna go i'm gonna go get me some food so yeah man everybody was like man you dumb dumb then this, this that you're gonna get i'm like man I, I really don't care at that time i really didn't care because it's like there's 
like y'all had us wait y'all y'all wasn't prepared for this many people and granted it was a lot of people but damn like can we at least get 8 30 can we at least get you know shit 8 15 something can we at least get some hours of sleep so that was my thinking at the time so i, I went to island i said fucking me and my guy biggie we went to island we had a fucking great ass breakfast um so then rumors at, then after that all that and then after that and then we, we finally got back and then we finally left um so then after that there's rumors swirling like why i didn't show up and then everybody was like oh well he got banned for cheating and stuff like that i'm like i didn't get banned for cheating. i literally just left because i i didn't want to play on two hours sleep so everybody's saying i'm cheating jeff jones called my deck trash and said i had to be cheating to even be winning with this deck so that was it that was a little that was a little shocking i was like whoa that's it's a lot of spice but yeah man so yeah if you guys still do remember that story if some of you are watching this be like hey man i remember this yeah man, i didn't cheat i just literally left to go get something to eat like it was that simple so yeah man how long was that how long were we on 20 minutes jesus christ i hope you guys did enjoy that story but we're not done yet we're gonna take this and we're gonna play <laughs> we're gonna see how garbage this deck is so stick with me folks we'll be right back all right folks so yeah we finally got a duel after 10 years this is this, this, this is uh you guys probably won't get the best duel because it won't be a lot of people but we did start off with a ghost arc fortune future bam already got a water in the grave so now all we need to do is put a little destiny hero bam miracle fusion banish that water again so will we get to another fortune future or we could just miracle oh, okay oh wait what's going on here this is master rule two sir this is master rule two do not oh what's going oh he oh he's playing the junk deck he's playing the junk deck all right all right you know what i can work oh that gotta be a misclick that's gotta be a misclick oh no he's actually gonna end his turn here all right so let's see what we can talk oh there's a pot of the wilder all right we can work with that as you can see man we we're fresh and oh there's a you don't give me the mally oh my god bro this this is over this is over folks this is what you call a hand right here oh my god did we really just draw into the lost blue record we just put back but it's okay we'll work with this so we'll use the oh ooh, damn thank god the diva is at the bottom all right so what we'll do here is we'll attack this thing because he's a level four he's a level four so we want to get rid of him and then hopefully we just don't die next turn <laughs> because it's gonna it's gonna be very very bad it's gonna be very bad but we do have the diva for sure the diva is at the bottom so we don't have to worry about that um we have a magical stone excavation we have double miracle fusion so we are oh my god damn he has a double <laughs> oh fuck man yeah he's playing a junk speeder deck we might oh fuck no yeah you, you you're getting negated sir um actually should we yeah what are you talking about should we definitely you're definitely getting negated all right so you know what this is this is probably the time it should have came out oh wait a minute oh that's five we're in trouble we're in trouble i think we're dead we might be dead here yeah one two three and you go into a five and you special summon and we might not be dead because he can't really do anything he only has one non-tuner um so let's see what we can actually get accomplished here <laughs> i don't know if you guys heard that but uh yeah that was my little niece uh she went a little crazy out there all right so there's a there to start as charge warrior um this is actually a really good hand man so what we can do is we can miracle fusion for a what's the name for a zero. Oh my god don't oh wait oh fuck we're in trouble we're in trouble we're in a lot of trouble i think we're dying here actually he should go no 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 we're not gonna die but we're gonna it's not gonna be cute wait what can't this summon his mini Oh, level two. Okay, it's got to be level two. Got it. How about to say, I thought it was just like level two or lower with this. So you can sync these two in for the, the, the Quishon four star or five star, which is Liberian. What? But you already, you, you use junks, you use Jet Synchron's effect. Oh, yeah, Soul Charge. All right, so we're not dying. Thank God. No, that's fine. We're definitely going to be able to win this one. So what we can easily do is go, um, 
what we can easily do is this uh, miracle fusion uh, our diamond i don't know if our diamond is going to stay alive but if he does or doesn't um it really depends on if he does or doesn't because if he does stay alive we're able to use his effect then what we can do after that is still miracle fusion for a zero then uh worst comes to worst try to use a miracle fusion again tatsunoko oh 10 mech battle thing make some of the tuner from the great wait what is uh what's the name these two tuners correct he can get the oh wait that's 11 that's not enough three five and two that's ten three yeah that's not enough he needs uh i think wait is it a, is it 12 star isn't it hopefully that's yeah that's not enough or two six and no, that's a, that's eight and five that's 13 there's no level 13 monsters um yeah he's not able to do it it's not able to do anything actually you can use these two to go into another synchro that's about it but even that won't get that still won't get you to where you need to get um all right what was that saying yeah um oh okay that's cool um go start us he's probably gonna go omega Oh, crystal wing okay that's fine I, I can work with all this um oh fuck oh fuck we're in trouble please don't be globe bulb anything but globe bulb I, I i can deal with everything but globe bulb oh he's getting dot scaper scraper what what oh it is dot scaper i knew what i was talking about oh okay there you go there's the end of that Ooh, heavy oh my god all right so we're, we're, we're just in we're just doing lovely things here he's not gonna negate this with that I know that for sure that's definitely not gonna happen so definitely not gonna happen you cannot do that wing blast that's completely fine so we use heavy storm he's probably he probably will negate with this I'm not sure though I don't think I don't think he should Designator from Grave. Why am I playing against these cards? So now that fucks me up. Hmm. Actually, I can get rid of his whole field if I really wanted to. I can go Diva. He'll probably negate with this. Then yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So let's do that. He'll probably negate. He'll probably negate with that. So we'll use Diva. He has to negate because if he doesn't, he's in trouble. He has to actually negate. Yeah, he actually has to negate because if he doesn't, he's in trouble. There, there we go. Yeah, he's in trouble if he doesn't negate. So now we'll go Miracle Fusion. And then I can crash with this and blow his whole field. Then I can discard these two for. Yeah, I think that's what has to happen here. So we we'll do this. We'll go for a zero. We we'll banish water and diamond, dude. Damn, that shit hurt. Water and diamond. Wait, yeah, he's not three thousand. So then what we'll do here is do this. Um, we'll get back fortune future. And this is this is the synergy, folks. This is the synergy. All right, now we're playing against uneven odds, but you know we can do it. Ooh, there's a gold shark and a lore. That's actually really good. I think we'll hold on to the gold shark. Um, I don't think we should though. So now I can just crash with this and blow his whole board. This will come back, but that's about it. I don't think he has any resonators in there. No, he doesn't. Um, we can actually set this goal so I can activate a lower and then run. You know what? No, we're not. We're not gonna do that. We'll, we'll just we'll just do this. Crash with this, blow his board. So that's cool. Um, yeah, we'll blow that then this can activate that's fine uh fuck we only have one uh miracle fusion left but see now i now that's where i wonder if i should gold shark actually for monster reborn because i do want to draw it you know what i think i have to i think i have to actually just have to gold shark for it because worst comes to worst oh we was drawing another fortunately oh we was drawing these two okay that would have been terrible <laughs> that would have been real bad so we're just gonna gold shark for this monster reborn so basically he has he has two turns to try to do something because we can just reborn that uh 
Crystal Wing can go from there, but he top decks a Rota, so that's a Junk Synchron. We might be in a little bit of trouble. We might be in a little bit of more than just trouble. Wow, he didn't get Junk Synchron. He must either have it in his hand already, or he has to have it because he searched Junk Servant. Yeah, he. Okay. I think we're dead here, though. Hey, well, we, we tried. We we'll probably get a rematch, but we tried, man. We're going up against. We're going up against new school shit. That's tomorrow. We're not going against new school shit right now. But hey, this is the only person who accepted it, so <laughs> yeah, it was not really too much. Actually, he only has one tuner. Never mind. He plays the level five. But wait, if you go into level five, then you can't get the Doppel Warriors effect. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does because he has to choose between either or. Um, Wait, what? Oh, Scarlight? Okay. All right, I can fuck with Scarlight. We we literally have one, two. We could take another turn. We could take another turn of a Scarlight. But, but after that, we're dead. <laughs> after that, we're done for. Oh, Stratos, yes. Woo-wee. That was the top deck of the fucking century right there, man. Give me my business. Oh, I don't know what was going on. I, I just pressed, I right clicked for no reason. I probably should have got the other Mally out because there's no way we're actually going to be able to get that back. Yeah, I definitely should have got the Mally. Oh my God, we top decked the Miracle Fusion. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. Let's go. And we're going for Shining here, folks. We're banishing, um, ooh, I think banishing, zero is the better banish, but we have to go with the Stratos because Because we're just uh, we're not good at Yu-Gi-Oh, so I mean I'm, I make mistakes all the time. I think there's no way there's no way to really get out of that situation. Oh my God! And we don't even get his effect. We, de we definitely should have just went what's in We definitely should have just went zero again. That was bad. That was, that's my fault. I I I, 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 I oh my God! That was so, so stupid. Because ugh, fuck, this is gonna miss timing now. Wait, what? <gasps> oh, he's. I think he's just trying to burn me for extra 500. I think that's what it was. But that's fine because we got a Monster Reborn coming out. So there's nothing in his graveyard, I think, that does anything. Are we going to this? Oh, okay. That's fine. Oh, he's fucking up. He's fucking up, folks. That's fine. That's fine. That was dumb. That was a dumb move. I'm actually going to win because of that. Actually, no, this can negate something. So. <laughs> This is going to actually negate a card. Um, this gets back uh, Tuner, right? Yeah, that's that's about it. I don't know. What are you going to get? Synchro? Okay, we're going to get that. Yeah, but this is going to trigger. We're going to just get us a Stratos back. So now he has to choose between negating Stratos or my D-Draw. Because he's going to negate one. He's not going to negate this monster. I mean, he could wait. He could definitely wait. He definitely could wait. I think that it might have been better for him if he waits. Uh, oh, Wing Blast. That is actually really fucking good. We're, we're, we're in the game, folks. And when I mean we're in the game, we're in the game. We are in the fucking game right now. All right, so it's got to be sent. Okay, it's got to be sent for a Synchro. So I'm pretty sure he's not going to negate that. He should not. He should not negate this. He should not. Preface my statements, folks. He should definitely should not. And you know what? I definitely should have did the zero play because then if he wants <gasps> why would you negate that you know what I have in my hand though you know I have the monster reborn sir you know you went into a crystal wing this is what happens this is what happened folks this is what happens give me that give me that booty booty I don't know what I'm talking about here all right so this is this is once again why wing blast was so Amazing. I know nobody plays traps now, but Wing Blast is so amazing when you have an established field. And even if you kind of don't, like if you're just if you're trying to just stop your opponent, this can easily stun it. If he sets a monster, he's done for. Um, if he has a dark hole, that means that's just amazing. This is a great duel. See stuff like this, and then if you set a trap, no sir, you have no chance. Oh, he made a bad play. I made a bad play, but we we got there. We got there. Thank you, Dr. Jarius, for that lovely duel. You you made a mistake, man. Crucial mistake. Even though I did it too, I made the crucial mistake. I should have just went for zero um, and then attacked what didn't attack what's the name. Um, 
and then pretty much that would have been uh, if you would have killed Zero, Zero would have blew your board. So that would have been the better option, but I didn't. So hey, man, we got there. Oh, and we we we're actually going to get a whole entire match. We're actually going to get a whole entire match, folks. And Aaron Rodgers is looking pretty cool. If you guys don't know, um, I'm pretty sure you guys will know by this video. But uh, yeah, all right. So we're getting another match. Might as well. It's the only person that literally is, you know, I guess not playing any link deck or he's literally just playing. Oh my. Oh, okay. Hey, I can't. Hey, I can't worry about stuff like that. There's nothing I can do. Nothing I can do about that, man. Nothing I can do. Nothing I can do. Please don't send a dotscaper. Please don't send a dotscaper. Don't send a dotscaper. But let's see, man. He actually sent it. That was. I don't know what he's going for here now. Um, because I easily just would have went junk doppel. Although that's the name of the deck, Junk Doppel. <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely would just want to Junk Synchro into a Doppel Warrior or Synchro into the level 5. Got the extra tuners out and then went that route. But I don't think he's playing. I think he's playing the uh, Red Dragon Arch, the Archfiend version. The Red Dragon version, I mean. So let's see what he actually has in store for us, man. Let's see what he actually has in store for us. So once again, oh, he can go Liberian. Oh, we're, we're in trouble here. Oh my, he actually did that too early. Yeah, he definitely won for one. So yeah, he, he, he's using all of his cards for no reason. Cause now you can't get Doppel Warrior's effect. Yeah, so you're just wasting, you wasting potential draws, man. Potential draws, you're just wasting. Now you can go like, oh no, see so you can't even go Liberian now. Yeah, he actually actually would just wait. No, he can't go Liberian and then go 10 musical thing. Yeah. See, that's why I don't like the what's the name. Exactly why the um, the new synchro that they came out with is kind of meh because there's no way to spam Liberian, you know? And that's what I want to do. I want to spam Liberian with it. Um, but you actually can't because you're not able to go into Link Monsters or anything besides uh, synchro monsters during the turn. Now, like I said, if it was released during... Um, before the Master World 4, then the card would have been very great. But uh, there's uh, you can't just make a card that literally says it doesn't work with the new thing you're coming out with because how would you get anybody ex excited? Like, you made everybody play what's the name? Why are you going to Excel Synchron? You don't have any non tuners. What? Okay. Only thing I can think of is um, ma not not majestic. What is hot? What is that one? It's um, red Nova Dragon. I don't even think you can go into it with this. That's a twelve though. I think you can go into it. I know you need two tuners and a dark, the dark dragon or a dark monster. I'm not sure, but yeah, like you, you Master Wolf Four is basically the whole business, and then you release a card that says, oh well, you can't use that if you want to use this, and it's like. How are you supposed to get anybody to get behind the synchro train if that's what you're gonna do? Like, and you released a junk sync, a junk link. Like, you released a junk link, and then told everybody you can't play it. Pretty much, it's stupid. It's very backwards. Um, so yeah, that's once again that's why uh, it, it didn't really didn't really mesh well. I don't think I don't think they really thought it through too much, and that's sad to say. It is a it's a very big company. Oh my god. This hand is absolute trash though. <laughs> this hand is absolute trash. Um, but we're good with this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with Diva. And then with Diva, which you're probably gonna get negated here. Um yeah, he's probably gonna negate my. Yeah, he's probably gonna negate it. That's, that's probably what's gonna happen here. Hey, what does these traps even do? I need to pay attention. Select one face a bunch of if you if you synchro some in this turn, use this. Whoa. Yeah, that's actually pretty decent. Uh, wow, we didn't negate our list lock. You could there's you could tribute this card target. Now see, I can do that. And I can try to pop one of these things, and then I can go. What's the name? And then I could. Use Mally's effect, but then he'll just negate it. Hmm. Or I get another Diva. 
If then go Brio, but then he'll just negate it. Hmm, I'm trying to see here. What can we work with? We got double gold sark, so that's just that's lending itself to the deck. Uh can spell some in that, then I can go. I think I gotta go Lost Breaker. I think that's actually the best. I think the Diva's better. I think the Diva's better. I think the Diva's better. Um, and then what we can do is special summon this by ditching that. Bam. And then what we can do here is go Brio. Um, we don't have any priority, but we can definitely use it here. We don't have priority, but we can just use it. Um, yeah, I, I don't know why it doesn't work, but yeah, we're supposed to be having the old rules, but it didn't. Actually, I, I kind of... Oh, fuck. Wait, but you can't synchro. What? I didn't get that. Yeah, you can't synchro, so I didn't understand that one. Um, and then here... See, what we can do is go Scrap Dragon. Bam, right? And then we can go Miracle Fusion for a zero. We can banish Diva and a Mali. Special Summon. And then we can use this to pop you in that. And then he pops all this. And there we go. We're, we're just. And then once again, we're just we're just hitting with the Ghost Arc. We're drawing a lore too. That's crazy. We hit him with the Ghost Arc for the Monster Reborn because that's that's just business, folks. It's just business. Um. All right, so we got to hit. We hit him with tw twenty-eight. I don't think uh, it's not looking good for us. I'll tell you that much. It's not looking good for us. He has a Dop Warrior in his grave. I don't know how many junk synchrons he has running around in his hand, but it's uh, it's it's going to be there. I'm pretty sure he doesn't play Catastor. It doesn't look like he's even playing the new, um, the five-star guy. So he didn't. Did he use Glow Bulb yet? I'm not sure. Oh, so you are playing Junk Speed? You son of a bitch. <laughs> we have no way to compete with this deck it's too fast <laughs> and that's saying something his deck is too fucking fast that's crazy all right so i don't know if there was a better play i mean i could have went stardust i guess and then did all that but then i don't know because then he would just would have negated mally and that's not i didn't want him to negate mally so uh yeah man uh, why am I only playing two Mallys with a D? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I could have swore Mally was... No, Mally was definitely not at three. I know that for sure. I know I'm, I know that's for sure. I definitely wasn't at three. So you go Stardust. Oh, you... you, you oh, okay, never mind. He's going to go what's at him, right? He's got to go into the shooting star. That's what he's going for. He's going for the fucking shooting star, sir. To level two non-tuners, right? It's only one. That searches any junk. My oh my lord. That's busted. Man, that's busted me busted, folks. We shouldn't have accepted this other duel. We should have just left it. We should have just left it the way it was because we were actually doing good. Oh wow, he ended his turn. <gasps> Ooh, top deck. So then we can do this. <laughs> I don't know what the hell he's doing. He's doing some weird stuff. Um one another diva and a what's the name uh hmm we can crash and do another 28 yeah i think that's the only thing we can actually do we just crash and do another 28 <laughs> let's crash and do another 28 man and this is once again why zero was so powerful back then is because once you get rid of it it pops everything on the board and um yeah Back then, it wasn't really too many outs for it. I mean, I don't know. It's not really too many outs for it now because, yeah, you can call by the grave it, but besides that, like, what do you really have? I mean, wow, you ditching Mally. Armageddon Knight. He's ditching Armageddon Knight. Oh, my God. He drew into a dot I should not be winning this duel right now. This man is Dr. Jarius. I applaud you for playing me, but you are, you are not playing to the best of your abilities, and I know you're not. I know you're not. I know you can do a lot better. I definitely know that you definitely could have killed me because Junk Speeder can kill Scrap Dragon by itself and you didn't attack. 
Or you synchroed it off or something like that. That was a little weird. You played his judo as well? Alright, so... You know what the sucky thing is? Um, you cannot monster be born in zero because it has to be fusion summoned. Um, and only can be fusion summoned, right? Yeah, let me see. Uh, must be fusion cannot be special summoned from other ways. Yep. Only way you can summon is a, is, is a West Lane. But, um, okay. Ooh. Ooh. That is, uh, that's decent right there. That's, that's, a, that's a, wait, you played Scarlight. Why didn't you just go Scarlight? You could have actually killed me. Yeah, that was dumb. You gonna kill this? <laughs> Yo, Dr. Jarius, what is going on here, man? You have all you have all the tools to beat me. I guess, man. I guess he's probably going easy on me because I'm playing 2012. That's probably why. I think, yeah, I'm gonna just write that one down. That's exactly the only reason why I'm winning right now. That is the only reason. Is because he's he's going soft on me, man. He's going oh fuck, we're in trouble. We need to top. I don't even know. We can't even top deck nothing. Ooh, that's good. Uh, but yeah, that that ain't gonna help us out here. Um, yeah, we'll just activate this heavy storm. He's got to be going easy on me. Oh, Starlight Road. All right. All right. So yeah, we got to end our turn, man. I don't think this is gonna end up right for us. How long are we in? Twenty minutes. Stage of twenty-five fucking minutes. Oh, wait, what? Oh, no. Oh, fuck. We're in trouble. We're in trouble, folks. We are in trouble. I don't think this is going to work out for us. I don't think this is going to work out for us. I think we're going to lose. He can get any tuner back, too, huh? Does be oh, wait. Yeah, one tuner monster. He can get anything. He got back a glow bulb. All right. That's it's a little telling. All right, so what do we need, folks? What do we need? Third Miracle Fusion would be nice. A third Miracle Fusion would be fucking amazing right now. Third Miracle Fusion would get me there. Third Miracle Fusion. I don't have any lights in here. Third Miracle Fusion would actually get me there. Third Miracle Fusion, man. What are you doing? Oh, wait, you can just... Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, okay. All right. We need a third miracle fusion, folks. We need a third miracle fusion. It's 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 Monday. We're feeling good. We need a third miracle fusion. Miracle fusion. All right. Well, that's pretty much it. We lost, folks. We lost. We lost. Playing the best deck up to the 2012 circuit. Oh, we actually hit something. Yeah, we lost, man. We lost. We can't win. We can't win. We can't win. We tried to win, man. We tried to win. All right. So, yeah, we, we got to surrender. We got to surrender. Let's see if he accepts the last rematch. Oh, he got. Oh, come on, man. That's that's garbage. All right. Well, yeah, man. Here's the deck. Once again, uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy that. This was... Um, something that i've been wanting to do thanks shout out to my bro for giving me the idea to do this though so yeah man hope you guys did enjoy my story story time yes it was a very hour-long video but hey man um these just usually comes out on like saturdays but i felt like monday was a pretty good day to upload it so hope you guys did enjoy this once again if you guys did uh you did like it definitely leave a like leave a comment and also subscribe if you have not already um, and if you want to help the channel out, link to your in the description down below, or you guys can click an ad, or you can do both, either or. Please help me. I'm just <laughs> I appreciate the help, though. Um, so, yeah, that is it for today. I will see you guys tomorrow with some Fortune Lady duels, and we'll see how terrible that goes. <laughs>